I'm too tall. Well, as you can tell, it's Hanukkah. Hanukkah. Also, it's uh, winter solstice this weekend. It's Christmas next week. But right now, you know what tonight is? What's tonight? What's today? What's, what, what's right now? It's Wednesday. Or Thursday, depends on where you're watching this. But what is today? What's special about today? It's the third day of Hanukkah. That's not it. That's not it? Well, it's not your birthday. No, it's not either. It's, is it comic book day? Well, that is comic book day, but what is important about right now? Right, right now. Right, right now. The cool comic book review show? Yeah, and what's important about that right now? Everything. It's the 100th episode! Yo! Hey, uh, 100! We, we're here. Even though if you really think about it, we did more than 100 because everything was separated up beforehand. But officially, our 100th episode. Yay. Yay. As you can tell, we're all tired and worn out, but we're here! My existence hurts. Yes, yes. I had physio last night and barely walk. And I had the dentist yesterday, and today I had the orthodontist. Red, green. Christmas. Can we get close up? Close up, camera person? Zoom in, close up! Red, green! Red, green! Okay, please back up. You were blocking the light, and I have my eyes hurt. <laughs> So, uh, I guess we should talk about comic books. Yes. Let's do, uh, hers. Hers? Hers. hers. Oh. The mad Montreal Girls comic books. The mostly sleepy and kind of food poisoned mad Montreal girl. Hey, that's your own fault. Yeah, that's your own fault. Okay, okay. She's like me, she okay, can't no, eat meat. I have an enzyme deficiency and I can't digest meat properly, but I... It tastes so good, and I wanted a burger yesterday. Yeah. Two double cheeseburgers. So, no, uh, you got me normal cheeseburgers. Yeah, but you made them two double cheeseburgers. No, I, 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 got, I was so hungry, I just ate two cheeseburgers. And and that was really sick And now today. you've broken out, you've been no, sick. No, I haven't. Yeah, you broke out. Shut up. You guys don't, what, one guy get a mirror? Ah! I will kill you. <laughs> you. You already are. Hey, no, but yes, I'm sick. <sighs> Sorry. It's your own fault. Please, worth that's it. right. Worth it. Worth it. That's right. Yes. Anything I'll... for a good burger. Don't. It's not the greatest thing. I don't ever, even care. So it tastes really so great. It not the greatest. No, that wasn't. Oh, but uh, getting back to great things, comic books. All right, from Image Comics, Mad Montreal Girls Comic Book of the Week. The Wicked and the Divine. Holy shit! I've been waiting like a month for this to come out. It's so great. Um, we we don't we haven't met the person on the cover before. Um, they do appear in the background of another issue of this, of a previous issue, but, um, man, it's really great, and I've got no reason to be afraid anymore. That's what it says on the back, you can't see it because the light's so bright, but, uh, if you're not reading this series, you really should be. Um, if you're into fantastical stuff, it's really great. Really great, 10 out of 10. Oh, yeah, she also had this other comic book. I read it too, but I'll let her talk about it first. Bum, 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 bum. Rumble. I was kind of looking forward to it when I saw the advertisement. Let me back it up a little bit. It's too close. No, no. No? Uh, um, it's, it's kind of unclear what it's really about, sure. but it's... The first issue, and it's basically um, this guy gets his arm chopped off, and the other guy kills the monster that was chasing him and t takes its sword. Um, I mean, it's kind of interesting. I just, this is one of the few times that I'm not too crazy about the art style. I just don't really like how some of the characters are drawn, and it's, for me, it's actually getting in the way of the story. Um, some people might prefer this kind of, like, it's not even that it's scratchy, it's just... It's kind of just unclean, I guess you could say. Now, I, on the other hand, read it, thought it was a fun book. I wanted to have a fun book that wasn't overly serious. It was fun. I enjoyed it. And once again, Image uh, has a preview of a comic book that's coming out soon. Graveyard Shift, which we will most likely <laughs> yeah, pick up because, frankly... <sighs> yeah, it just doesn't stop with Image. They really change a lot, but I actually had fun. I'm looking forward to number two. Should we do my books 
for her book or your books? Well, she only she has, has one. one and she has one, but it's in the pile. Oh, okay. okay, ready? All right, the red green one, the cute one. Ta da! Hey, this is cute on Girl. First of all, we'll probably have music today because I finished it a little while ago and I just forgot to put it on USB. So, just so you know. In other words, I'll be up even later editing tonight. But it doesn't have to be. It won't be. My, I don't know where my USB is. It'll be. It'll be next time. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's okay. I can. This hold. is what happens when you, you get it for your birthday. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> for eventually. My birthday. You get it for Christmas. I don't know. Uh, this is what happens when you spend the whole night reading, and then having supper at what 11:30. That's right. It's midnight, and we're filming the show. Yay! No, it's actually 11:54. Oh, pretty Ooh. much. <laughs> School, that's for nerds, but I'm, Work. Ah. I'm a nerd, so I guess I have to go to school. Or I thought you were a geek. Uh, same thing. Well, yeah, I well, guess actually, nobody knows, no, I got both. fired. <laughs> oh, yeah, she got fired, and the results are in Star Wars Episode 1, 2, and 3. Your boyfriend should be shot. That's it. Okay, go. I started with, uh, wait, who was it again? Huh, who? Who was it again? Who? 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 I don't remember. Who dat? 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 You knew that. Well, it's, yeah, it's like and they're like it's like this really weird one and it was like would it be weird if Doctor Who had a really non weird one? And it was like they're like getting chased by okay, well look the the companion is all like like, oh I'm gonna talk to these people and just, you know, chill and then the doctor's running away or like you know, running away. This chick's like, got four arms. Mm, yeah, yeah, and then they're actually just like her, like and three apprentices, eyes. apprentices, and then yes. It's... So it was yeah. Is that what your summary of it is? Yeah. It was yeah. Yeah. Okay. Next one. Mad Montreal right now was texting her boyfriend saying, "Everyone of the sh all the fans of the show who sent emails said you're an idiot for making me watch one, two, and three first. Oh we're no, right. that's not what we're talking about right no. now. Well, the second one I have is Over the Garden Wall. Brand new comic book. Okay, so this is based off the TV, the miniseries TV. called Over the Garden Wall. It was on TV. Interweb. It was on TV? It was on TV. It's it on Cartoon Network. Network. Oh, okay. But we don't get that one. Um, me and Man Montreal Girl watched it, and it's really good. It's kind of cute, but it's also kind of dark, which is nice. Um, this issue is more of a lighter side of... Over the garden wall, and it was really nice. And it was like, it's wait, like, wait, wait. Can I ask a question? Does the story take place over the garden wall? Actually, yes. That's amazing. Truth in advertising. Um, it, it is a really good series. Um, basically, you the the yellow here is this character's inside thoughts, and there's his a really, name is Wirt. His name is Wirt, and then the other one with the teapot is Greg, and the other one's a bird that's called Beatrice. Um, there's this really funny one page that I want to show you guys. I saw it before and I didn't know it was from the comic book. There's a cow. No, that's not really part of the story. There's a really funny page and it makes me laugh. I'm going to read it though, because... Okay, while she's trying to find the page, I have a challenge for people out there on Tumblr. Okay, you know that commercial where the guy's behind the computer and his fingers flop off? And he goes, dang it. Someone do a gif of that, please. Because... That one here, behind the camera, chuckles every time. Bloop! Dang it. Every time. Okay, no, no, no. Up. It's like the fingers fly off and then it's... That, and then saying. it's like... Bloop. Bloop. I know. Funny. Every okay. time she chuckles. I found it. So, do a so, gif. This is the first half of it, because it's two pages. And it's <coughs> him talking about poetry. The first page is literally just him, like, talking about poetry. I might not read it. So, he's like, he's all, like, going deep about poetry, and this is the second page. And then, at the end, he's like... I'm sure glad no one can read what I'm thinking. This poetry is awful. Ha ha! Enough, and I was like, yeah. Fourth wall! It was good. But Shattered! Word is adorable. Word is really cool. And he actually has really nice poetry. But yeah, and I like I like this. It was, it was good. So in other words, Kelly better put it on the list. You don't have to, though. Yes, you have to. <laughs> okay, the next one I have is Lumberjanes. Um, and once again, they are not Lumberjacks. They're lumberjanes. They're lumberjanes. I know. They chop down trees. They also they defeat eat bad their guys. Lunch. And they do go to the lavatory, just not in the comic book. On Wednesdays. They go shopping. shopping. At Butterscone's 
One has a raccoon. So this issue is, I, I'm pretty sure it's drawn by a bunch of different artists because there's a bunch of different. Well, maybe you should get the credits. Look, it's a bunch of different artists. Ta-da! Yay! I can't see it because of the light, okay? I'm sorry, well, there's a bunch of people there. And basically, it's, they're all sitting around a campfire and they're telling scary stories and it's, I really like the last three. Well, actually, no, like, the last two. The last two were really good, because they were, like, kind of cute, but at the same time, kind of like the style of the next book that I'll show you guys. Like, this one. Nothing. I, 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 I'm not good at reading lips, so I have no idea what he said. Um, this one is kind of, it's, like, sketchy, but it's really nice at the same time, too. So, yeah. 3D. Woo! Woo! I like this issue. It was nice. The last one I have is the Story Tale Tellers, which is Jim Manson Company. It's good. I like it. So, just like in the last book, it has like the sketchy kind of art, but I like that kind of art because it's cool looking and it looks like it's different and it's nice. And in this one, it's another witch story, obviously. And it's kind of, it kind of made me think of Cinderella at first, but it's kind of different, right? It's like. Her, her, at the beginning, like, her mom passes away, and then the dad remarries, like, and, blah, 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 and she has two mean stepsisters, and a really and mean then, mom, and they get her clean all this stuff, but and then, instead of them going to the ball, they make her go and get fire from Baba Yaba, oh, Baba Yaga, and it's like, it's a really good story, and I liked it, and it's really pretty... So you should, if you didn't get this, then you're a fool. You heard it. Get this. Jim Henson. We all read this book, actually, so uh, here's a plug. I would love to see this, actually, in a Jim Henson movie with Muppets and real people. Yeah. Okay, so I guess, uh, what should we talk about? Mm, her book? I don't know. Yeah, we just got one book. And let's be honest, the insert topic one is like... Months behind in her reading. I'm not. I read all mine today. Are you alive? Insert title one. Yes. I read mine today. <sighs> except this. I did not read this. Yeah, it's the Marvel calendar for next year. Yay. I don't think you need to read a calendar. No, no, you can't. But I will tell you one thing. Marvel's put spoilers in here of books that are coming out next year. Okay, uh, we're going to start off with Marvel tonight. Really... Marvel, not a good cover. Fantastic Four, back in blue. Just not. I, I kind of like the slight little twist in the storyline with a new villain, but overall it was kind of like a little bored. Uh, beautiful cover. This should be a TV series. You know what? Marvel, make this a movie. Black Widow, beautiful cover. It's actually Marvel's best cover of the week. Okay, it really is. Uh... I like the story. The artwork gives me a headache. Moon Knight. But I am warming up to it. And this this issue, you barely actually even have Mark in the book. It's, well, I won't give too much away, but it's a good read. Uh, on the, I just read this for fun, because there's really no other reason to read it. Guardians of the Galaxy. You want me to stand up? I'm getting these weird hand gestures. She's having a seizure! Whitey! Whitey! No! As you can tell we just finished watching um, Eight Nights of uh, Crazy, Eight crazy Nights. Nights. Oh, Davey! Oh. Okay, we're going to do another two more in a row. Right off the bat, we have the oh. Axis 4 and Avengers X Men Axis number 8. Uh, okay, I will say one thing uh, for the Axis 4. I did like the backup story. Howard Chicken! Need I say more? No, I don't. As for the Avengers X-Men, uh, you know, it was kind of fun, but we all know where the storyline's going. Ah, uh, okay. Inhumans. It was okay. I'm not going to go into big detail on that one. I think they're making an Inhumans movie. Uh, there's whole many movies coming out. Okay, next up we have the Avengers Now. Yes, it's the Marvel Universe handbook. If you've read all this... Well, I already know most of these characters. Actually, I know all these characters for the most part. But it's based on the who's who. <laughs> Cross-reference to DC. I'm evil. Of the Avengers characters and so forth. 
Okay, the all-new Captain Falcon. Oh, Captain America, sorry. Um, the Hydra, it feels like I'm reading a crossover with the S.H.I.E.L.D. series on TV because of the Hydra's taking over everything and so forth. And let's just put it this way, I wouldn't want to be Nomad in this issue. Okay, and Marvel's worst cover of the week. This cover is so bad, I almost didn't buy the comic book. Oh, yeah. Are you serious? Captain Marvel. You know what's better than that? This Digimon card that I just found on the ground. Yeah. I mean, the artwork inside is not that bad. It's kind of the usual what you expect. It's a fun story, but that cover is so bad. Wow. Makes my nose itchy. Well, that's it for Marvel. Why does it look like it's dirty? It's supposed to have that old comic book look. It don't work for me. Okay, from DC. You know, you know I, I don't want to rant today, but I have to. This multi-versity thing they're doing. I mean, all they're doing is bringing back the comic books from old, you know, Thunderworld. This is the old Captain Marvel or Shazam that we all knew as kids. For us old folks. Hey, so oldies, how you doing? You know, it's just that fun, positive, you know, happy ending kind of character that we all remember growing up. Or as we, when we were kids, we were like, it's just too nice. We, You know, it's just... I mean, it, it, it reads like an old-fashioned fun comic book. But why not just... Why keep doing this when you just have the comic books that we had pre-New 52? Should we show her face? <laughs> okay, do a panning shot. Yes, it's mad Montreal girl looking at her best. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, never mind. Yeah, I'm not doing it. Okay. Now... Here's something that I think, I actually love these covers from DC. I had a hard time picking DC's cover of the week. Because, guess what? Darwin Cook done all the cover, pretty much all the cool covers. You have a Teen Titans, Darwin Teen Cook. Titans, and it's the old Teen Titans. You know? My only complaint is, all the Darwin Cook covers are sideways. Mm. Of course, the Teen Titans inside aren't these Teen Titans. It's the new 52 Teen Titans. Uh, well, if they weren't sideways, you wouldn't see all the detail on the But he could have done something right. else. For the most part, these Teen Titans are kind of like, eh. But uh, I don't want to digress for a second. Okay, Superman 38. A lot of the artwork coming up. But for those of you who remember the old DC Universe, haven't they done this before? Hmm, Superman Red, Superman Blue. Superman hmm. Green. They haven't done that one yet. <laughs> But they cool cover. Uh, one woman also has a cool Darwin Cook cover. Okay. And I, I do like the new art team with it. They are they are kind of taking the old story and still going with it, so it's enjoyable. Hey, shall we continue with Darwin Cook? Batman and Robin! No, it, it's I mean Oh, this is the uh Okay. This is sort of like the conclusion or the pre the conclusion to the Prelude to Robin Alpha. What? Yeah, I know. Remember, I said no one stays dead in comic books. Oh, well, so. spoiler! I was right. Damien is back. What a shock! Mm. I'm serious. What a shock! But they did it in a good way. I mean, there's one pal I need to show you because you know we all know. I mean, come on. Batman is the guy who beat the Justice League by. And we're back. Yes, once again we have to do a timeout. Hey, what you looking at me like that for? We talked for like a whole other five minutes. Yeah, at least. And we didn't even know if it was like... Well, what if you could have gotten up and looked? I don't know what the, what the clock means. What does a flashing clock mean? How am but, I supposed to know? You know what means? Know? It you means... You set the date and time. <laughs> That's literally what it means on this camera. It's so funny. You bought it. You don't even know how it works. <gasps> oh, no, but it's closed. Oh. No, it's not closed. It's on right now. Okay. She's playing Nintendo. I'm tired. I'm sorry. The insert one's on her phone on Facebook. The Mad Montreal like, girl's the on her phone. Also the camera person. Basically probably texting her boyfriend. I'm not texting him. He went to bed already. Then who are you texting? So he's a are boy. He's obviously a boy. He went to bed at 1220. 
Uh, he has school in the morning, and I think he has pre-calc first so block. So do you. You also have school in the morning. So I don't she. have pre-calc first block. I have school, too. You have full moment pre calc first block. Well, I don't have, like, IB pre-calc, so I don't <laughs> And back to Batman and Robin. Me too. And, like, like I said, it's been one of those days. Back to Batman and Robin. Cool Darwin Cook cover. And, okay, remember when Damon killed and I went, don't believe it because no one stays dead in comic books? Yep. Spoiler. No one called it. it. Damien's back. Okay, fun cover. All right, also, this next comic book had two really beautiful covers. One I got, one I didn't. I got the Darwin Cook cover. Catwoman. I had to get Darwin Cook cover. Uh, the story's actually getting better. I do still have a problem with the artwork. You, know, you, you kind of expect that slightly less storyboard type artwork with Catwoman. You know. But however, sometimes you have to go story versus art. Sometimes you get lucky, you get both. Well, I went with story. It's not a bad story. It's getting better. But wait, wait, wait. We're not done yet. Because we have Batman. That's right. And another Darwin Cook cover. Okay, this one is a wonderful Joker story that I have with it. It's not bad. I mean, the artwork's really nice and consistent. But, but I don't know. Maybe I'm just getting old or I'm getting a little bit bored. I'm tired of the Joker. I am. Oh, what? I know. That's Hard really... to believe. Oh. I don't know. Maybe I think it's time for Batman to have some new villains. Just a thought. It does happen in the past. They've had villains pop up from time to time. So, DC Marvel, how about a new villain for Batman that you can make a repeating villain? I'm just saying. It'd be fun. Okay, now the next one. Here we go. Keeping with Darwin Cook, Supergirl. Okay, let, let, let's see if the Mad Montreal girl is good. Who's this? Crypto. Who's that? I forget. And who's the horse? If you remember the horse, you're old. Okay, but Supergirl artwork. You didn't even say their names. What are their names for the for the younger generation who doesn't know this stuff? Just go look them up. No, just say it. No. What That's is? You don't remember do you? I do. Isn't the cat stripey? <laughs> Something like that, yeah. <laughs> See, she she knows we told I told her before. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, don't tell me. Oh, just, look it up. I just okay. Said it. I'm not sure if I talked about this already, but once again, DC's got artwork inside. I mean, the artwork looks good. Superman. I feel like I've talked about this already, but haven't we seen this before? Yeah, we have. Superman red, Superman blue, and she might say green next. I don't know. Okay. Well, there's Crypto and Ace, which is Batman's dog. Ace is cool. Ace the Bat Hound. All right. Keeping up with the Darwin Cook theme, Batman Superman. Fun cover. The story inside is pretty good. The artwork's consistent. But unfortunately, you know, a certain character shows up and I don't want to get into it too much. Wait, wait, are you ready? Guess what's next? Darwin Cook cover for Justice League. Justice League. Old school Justice League, except for Cyborg. Um, continuing the Amazon story virus. Eh, so so, but. It, you know, it's a force to have. Okay, this next one. Wow, has nothing Comet. to do Comet. And Cupid. And Donner. And Blizzard. No, it's Comet is the horse. Streaky's the cat. That's called, the that's called Google. And Bippo's the monkey. Bippo's on the cover. Or was he? Was Bippo on the cover? I didn't see Bippo. No, I didn't see the monkey on the cover. No. Okay. Sensation Comics starring Wonder Woman. Oh. Uh, well... The artwork inside was... Well, you decide. Okay. Alright. Uh, So-so artwork, but good storyline. The Batman Eternal. You're, like, way too close, man. Now you're way too far. Well, but this is how good our camera person is. Hey, you know what? It's your fault. You're the she, one doing she's it. She's too busy playing a game. I'm not playing a game. Look, my phone's off. Hey, Damn. I remember when you used to be on, on front of the camera. Hey, I remember when uh, I wasn't hit by a car, so... Should we bring that up again? You know, what, you know what it reminds me of? Danny Kane, White Christmas. Uh, except mine's actually real, thanks. <laughs> well, technically his arm is real. Good night. I got her good. Yeah, that's right. But, but She's his, walked away. His arm is real. I don't understand. What? Man, when she was real. Are you drunk on eggnog again? I'm just tired. And my face hurts. Kay. Red Hood Outlaws. So like an Arsenal backstory. <sighs> Guardian 
the new Green Lantern people. It was okay. I guess we're going to wrap it up because we've lost camera person. She's getting sleepy. All right, Batwoman. Remember when Batwoman had really great covers? Yeah. That's not one of them. No. It's just not. It's just not. It's a shame. Yeah. Okay, Earth 2, World's End. Okay, the story is kind of getting progressive, but once again, I have to say, Jack Kirby is spinning his grave because the way the new gods are being portrayed, they're more evil than good. It's like, you kind of want to root for Dark Side a bit. Okay, DC, Shane, I know you agree. Make this a Vertigo title, please. It's 2PG. Trinity of Sin. It's called S Trinity of Sin. I expect something a bit more. Sin? <laughs> Adult. He don't laugh at me. The dog scared me because <laughs> the cat, Lee. Jack, he was on the floor Oh, right look, now. look. You don't see this guy very often. Look, it's, 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 it's the middle child now. Yes. But he's still a baby. And he smells. You just farted, didn't you? <laughs> Jack needs to go pee. I think that's the problem. Cute fat kitten farted. Where'd he go? Okay, that's a warning, folks. When you have two cats, a dog, two they daughters, and a wife, a lot. there's a lot of farts in the house. Hey, you uh, fart What too. about you? You're like the person that farts the most. I don't fart. I queef. That's disgusting. And you don't have a vagina. <laughs> it's even worse. I don't know. Why. You don't have a vagina. You can't queef. Are you dumb? <laughs> no, but it made you laugh. Isn't that the whole point of why we do this for ourselves? Okay. New Futures in 52. Oh. Finally, a death stroke we can like. It's a little girl. Yeah. All right. TV spinoff, Arrow 2.5. We have no idea where it is. Okay. Okay. Based on the game, Infinite Crisis. Uh, if you're wondering what DC cover was, I'm giving it to Darwin Cook. All of them. Yeah. Darwin Cook had the best DC cover of the week. Go for You can pick your one. Okay, but he's got the best one. Okay, from Vertigo. There's three from Vertigo. First one, good story. Once again, you can't always have great artwork, but the story's interesting. The kitchen. It's getting better. I just came from the kitchen. Coinkin' Ink. Uh, always... Always a good read. Always beautiful covers. Fables. But the Vertigo cover of the week. And I'm so happy this came out. Because I needed something like this to read tonight. Sandman Overture. Beautiful cover. Wow. Oh, I can just... Sorry, Adam. Okay, that's it for DC. So let's pound out the rest of the books. I do want to say something at the end. Okay, from Valiant, Dr. Mirage. It's getting better. Okay, I know it's probably just me and, and Henry. But Henry, goes, Henry, start reading your books again. I know you buy it, but read it. But very few of us actually still read this book. Thanks to that horrible movie, people have lost faith in this character. But I still believe in The Lone Ranger. The Lone Ranger. It is. Okay, Dynamite. Valiant. I mixed up the books. Sorry. It's Magnus. Magnus. <laughs> Dynamite. Magnus. Robot Fighter. Okay, back to Valiant. Why? But then again. Hmm. Hmm. See, not all comic book superheroes are skinny and well built. Oh, that's deep. Well, okay. well built could be, that's like a debatable term. But. Now, Leo, I would call this a coffee table of sins. I missed two and three, but I got them all today. With number four, Grant Morrison, Fraser Irving's Annihilator. Good artwork, kind of on a dark side storyline. I like it. Well, I'll give you a little peek at the artwork. I mean, the, co the cover's pretty cool, too. But, uh, you know, if you don't remember, it's just, you know, it's kind of a painted artwork I like. I gotta cough now because I'm dying here. All right. Waffle. I don't want a waffle. You know it's uh, 12:30 and you're having waffles. <laughs> <laughs> the cat just scared the dog. 
Okay, uh, insert Ow. topics one book of the week. Yo. Alex Ada. You know what's kind of funny? We started reading this, or she started reading this a while ago, and recently we watched from uh, Sweden the uh, Real Humans about the U-Bots. U-Bot. Coincidence? I think not. Could be. I'm just saying, Luna Brothers have a habit of doing comic books that seem to show up on TV. Just saying. Okay, East versus West. The story continues, and it's getting a bit more complicated, which I like, because I like stories that get more complex. Sneak peek of the page, artwork, Ooh. here we go. Now on the complex side, <coughs> I love the covers of these things. They, they really just kind of go, what is that cover supposed to be? And the story is violent, intriguing. Basically, I'm talking about Zero. The only thing I would like to see is if the artwork could improve a notch or two. Drifter. Ooh. Also. Number two. Interesting. It's getting better. Uh, I am hoping that the story picks up a little bit more. Because right now, it's, it's you know, I'm buying it because it's science fiction. And I got this weakness for science fiction. But I'm hoping it <coughs> picks up a little bit. Sorry, folks. I'm not, I'm not, not 100% tonight. So we're down to a handful of comic books. And this is one of those rare times where I have two ties. I'm tied twice. For alternate cover of the week, I have a tie between 13 coins and a new one called Captain Stone. I, I think 13 I'm coins. I'm tied. I think 13 It has a coins. slight advantage, because it really does have a slight advantage, but I, I, I feel I, I, I have a sort of a... It kind of looks like you. <laughs> I don't smoke. No, but what if you shaved your beard right in the middle like that? The thing is, I, I feel like I have I have a bit of a preference for Simon Business, so I'm kind of like, don't want to give it the ultimate cover of the week. Story inside, I love it. I, I, it's just one of those kind of stories where I can just read it and have a good time. But Captain Stone may not have a, such a striking cover, but some of the artwork on the inside. Okay, as you guys know, I kind of get annoyed with scratchy artwork because it makes me think of storyboards. But I do kind of love artwork when you get this. Ooh. I got a soft spot for painted artwork, so we'll say it's a tie. Uh, by the way, number one, I do recommend it. So let's, I recommend 13 coins as well. Okay, for all around cover of the week, from IDW, it's a tie. I'm going the big one. Okay, right off the bat, Simonson, Ragnarok. I have a soft spot for Simonson's artwork as well. I love the story. It's a fun story to take on Thor. But I'm also tied with this one. Steve Niles, Bernie Wrightson's artist edition, or treasure edition, The Ghoul. It's Wrightson! It's so big. <coughs> I mean, how could I not pick this? So uh, that's it for the comic book show for today, except for one thing. Um, like beautiful artwork. Has Sorry, it's just I love writing that work. By the way, uh, Aaron, uh, I want the other. I want the treasure editions for the macabre and dead. Dead, she said. Also, the remastered version of this has ruined White Christmas. Everything. Okay, put that back. Okay, so uh, as you know, uh, it is our 100th episode. It was just kind of fun. We started doing this way back when because of Mad Mon Shogo had assignment. <laughs> cool project. Uh, I don't even remember what it was anymore. It was in the seventh. It's supposed to be some kind of blog or rant, I don't whatever. Know. And uh, we started doing this just for ourselves for fun. Which what we still do, you know. Sometimes we get a little crazy, and tired. A little, a little. Okay, this is the house of madness. Like I'm always tired. <clears throat> yeah, you're always tired. When are we not tired though? When we're in bed sleeping. Exactly. See, he gets. See, I get it. But uh, one thing I want to thank, apart from thanking uh, certain people like our, our number one fan Shane, you were still you are number one fan. I mean, we have your artwork in the living room now. Because it's that important to us. Uh, our fans like Mark. We want to thank those guys. We want to thank our buddies at RX. Our friends in Ireland at SubCity. Our friends in Montreal at Expert Comics. We want to thank all our friends on Facebook who watch the show. And, and enjoy watching us just be ourselves amongst ourselves. And our friends on YouTube who get our shtick. They get us. They, they know we do this for ourselves really. We, we have fun. We improvise all of this. Family bonding. It is, it is. I mean, so for our friends, on our, our subscribers on on YouTube, 
thank you for watching us and getting us. You know, we, we, we do this kind of for ourselves. And, you know, we have a couple of haters. Okay, we have a couple of haters for our movie reviews, but that's normal. But, you know, you guys enjoy what we do. Like I said, we do this for ourselves. And, oh, and you know, a special thanks to um, the ridiculous increase of followers on Tumblr recently. Shh, I'm going to get that in a second. Uh, I mean... One of the reasons why we do this, apart from having a good time, is something we've done to get through some... As, as our friends know, we've had some hard times the past couple of years. It's one thing we do every week, no matter what, for ourselves, because we can get to sit down and laugh on ourselves for a little bit and forget all the crap, and things are getting better. So, uh, And one of the things that's getting better is, well, for those of you guys who watch the YouTube channel, well, if you remember not too long ago, YouTube kind of censored us for doing a review of Falling Down because they rented it. So we figured, okay, we'll do it. We'll do a Tumblr page, right? So we decided to bring the cool comic book show, gave it its own Tumblr page. You know, we put up, I think, what, 25 episodes, I think, so far, maybe 20 episodes mm -hmm. on there. And, you know, for the most part, didn't think much of it. It's for our friends. It's for our family who have Tumblr, who just want to watch us on Tumblr. But I, I do want to say thank you to all our followers on Tumblr. Uh, you guys have made us feel really good lately because in the past couple of weeks we went from a handful of Tumblr followers to 500 some odds and then we went to 600 some odds and at last check tonight we're at 1,391 Tumblr followers for the cool comic book review show so thank you guys I, I hope you enjoy the show and if you do want to have fun go to our YouTube channel and check some of our old stuff I know the comic books down there have already been talked about. We have some other stuff going on in the show as well. But thank you to our, all our friends and families. It means a lot to us. Uh, as long as we have fun doing this, we're going to keep doing it. Yeah, I mean, like, I never expected it to... I don't think I any mean, of us it's, did. It's, it's, like, it's taken off a little bit, and it's it's kind of really cool. It's cool. I mean, it's the cool comic book show. And like I said, uh, we're going to do this as long as we have fun doing it. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, we don't do it for... Any other reason except for us to laugh at ourselves and have a good time. And, and you know what? We do like making our friends and family laugh and chuckle. I mean, and thanks to the show, I've got a very good friend now, which one day I will meet, Shane. By the way, Shane, I want your address. I didn't get the message yet. I need your address. Uh, you know, we've made some other friends. I mean, just filming the videos we do, because we also do a thing called the Retro Review. I've got a great buddy now named Barry. We do, uh, we're going to do a whole series of movie reviews next year for Tumblr. Uh, you know, we've, you've had fun. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so sleepy. You know, uh, we should do. We we we've had one of our regulars suggest we do. Uh, yes, we're running out of time. Well, I'll say. Well, we will. We'll talk to you guys next week. Uh, thanks for watching. We had fun doing this. Like we always do. Good night. Good night. Bye. Go